Okay, for this question, right, we need to calculate the acceleration for the four cases and we need to check which one has an average acceleration of 2 meter per second square. So the car is moving from rest. So this means that the starting velocity u is equal to 0 meter per second. So we need to use the formula acceleration is equal to v minus u divided by t final speed minus initial speed divided by the time taken okay so for option a it will be 10 minus 0 divided by 2 that will give us 5 meter per second square option b be 20 minus 0 divided by 5 we will get 4 meter per second square option c 30 minus 0 divided by 10 we have 3 meter per second square and option D we have 40 minus 0 divided by 20 we will get 2 meter per second square so the answer should be D okay, we are given a speed time graph for the motion of a boy on a skateboard so, we are supposed to describe his motion for each 5 seconds period throughout the 20 seconds journey. Okay, so this speed time graph can be divided into 4 sections from 0 to 5 seconds, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, and 15 to 20. Okay, as we all know that the gradient of a distant time graph will give us the acceleration and for the first section right 0 to 5 seconds we see that the gradient is decreasing so if the gradient is decreasing that means that the acceleration is decreasing okay uh, from 5 to 10 seconds you can see that the graph is is flat is horizontal so the gradient is 0 that means acceleration is 0 and it should be traveling at constant speed of 4 meter per second right now and for 10 seconds to 15 seconds the graph is a sloping straight line that is going downwards so we can say that um, the gradient is constant so it should be constant deceleration and the last part is at zero throughout for the speed so the car sorry the boy is at rest okay now let's look at the options that are available okay the first part right is should be decreasing acceleration so it should be non-uniform acceleration and the second part constant speed and the third part is constant deceleration okay deceleration is actually negative acceleration so we can choose the option uniform acceleration and the last part is at rest so from this we can see that the answer is B okay we have a car here that is moving forward in this direction so in order to cause an increase in the speed we must have a force we must have an increased force in the direction of the motion so the only force that is that is in the direction of this motion here is q okay so we need to increase the value of q okay a car is traveling at constant speed along a road and drives onto a large patch of oil so what does the oil do is that it will decrease the friction between the tire and the road. So when the driver applies the brakes to stop the car, you will find that it is harder to stop the car because the friction is now reduced. So what will happen is that the car will take longer to slow down because of the reduced friction.
between the tires and the road? Answer C. We have a heavy sack that is suspended from the ceiling by a rope. So this is before and this is after. Okay, when it is being put to one side and held stationary. Okay, since the sack is stationary, that means it is at equilibrium such that all the forces acting on the sack they balance out each other so we have one force here we also have the weight of the sack is a downward force and the tension of the rope that is going in this direction so since it is in equilibrium all the three forces when we line them up using the tip to tail method they should form a close triangle so now let's look at the options given okay a and b are out because the tension of the rope it should be going in this direction uh not this direction okay so we have the answer as d this is the weight and then there is a there is a horizontal force to the right and we have the tension force that is going this way and it forms a close triangle